Episode 7 of Home of the Brave is sponsored by Sportsman's Warehouse and Kill It Camo. our group from uh, Pennsylvania this is and I'm horrible with names that's Nate no, I'm Nate. Nate Nate Justin Hi. Justin Justin I'm Rob Rob, Rob nice to meet y'all nice yourself. to meet you Rob's hunting with you tomorrow all right yep so I want to go wide and get up high so that because where they're at they're too bunched up and when they start kind of spreading out pretty much what I saw them do last time was they came I mean, south and there's an exit right there where it separates between the feedlot property and these guys on that fence row is where they bailed. So if we're up high, we can either make a play straight down to them and keep the wind right or move over to their exit and wait for them there and bump them one way or another is kind of the plan. Yeah. On this side, I'm gonna let you guys decide. Well, we don't wanna decide because I don't care. I, I want I want him to shoot a deer. So whatever you think would could could be or would be a better spot, give it to him. That's just it. I don't know these deer jack with us every time. Yeah. So we'll put somebody right there. I want that. You can see where that hole? It's concave right there. Yeah. And that's where I want somebody to sit. Should just kind of back in there and sit back on your butt. Back in there and well, I got the I got two chairs back here. Oh, okay. You want to take this one? I don't I care. Got a, I got a good feeling about the next one. All right, that I works for that. me. You missed three belts on your bridges. I'm just looking out for you, Dad. Every now and then you'll get some, some that'll come up right through here. And then. 
Oh yeah, I see it. Oh, now they're standing. Tell us everywhere. A, tell us a story. I'm sitting there. I seen them come out. Way before they even came out to the field, I seen them in the tails wagon. So I knew they were there before they knew I was here.
best bet is to kind of move back this way a little bit and take some of the pressure off and then just see if we can glass them. Um, there's a food, there's a feeding area toward the back. It goes back this way. So if they head in that direction, we might be able to catch them as they're heading back over. But yeah. we certainly don't want to push them any harder that way. Yep. They're going to hop the fence and they're going to come up over here. Just kind of 
keep an eye on us up here so we can give you a little bit of lefty righty uh, jump up and kill it. So I'm gonna point it
want to make it basically come down, get across here, here kind of fall the, the fall pivot, pivot edge. and come straight over to the east. Yeah. That barrier line, trying to find a high point. Yeah. Somewhere. Well, and I think over here is where we're going to get into the stuff we're looking for, right. anyways. That's why I said exactly you like you. Yeah. Be safe. Absolutely. See you shortly. You will. Put one down, lay it down, and you're dialed in now. Yep. It's a so, big boy. No excuses now. No. Thank you for a wonderful week of fellowship, of enjoying your creation, and, and uh, just uh, building our relationships. Lord, I thank you for this food. I ask that you bless it towards its intended use. Bless the hands that prepared it, and just bless this time of breaking bread together. I pray these things in your son's blessed and holy name. Amen. Amen. duty army from 06 until uh, 2019 uh, did 13 and a half years I was a, uh, a horizontal engineer for a while then I went and flew Blackhawks um, then I medically retired in 2019 um, so I was recently fortunate enough to be drawn by a band of heroes outdoors to come and do a excellent mule deer hunt um, yeah I never thought I would have the opportunity to do it but uh, here I am, and it was a blast uh, after walking several miles uphill both ways through sand. No snow, but it was a real fun time. Took a couple long shots, 
they fell just short of the target. Um, and in addition to Band of Heroes, I want to give a shout out to Flower Archery and uh, Tim, which uh, kicked my butt, got me through the hills, and uh, and Chris as well with uh, Deuce Ministries. And yeah, it was an excellent time, and I was fortunate enough to have it brought upon me to do it. My name is Brandon Hansen. Uh, I served in the United States Marine Corps in 2004, 2008. Um, I was able to be a part of this uh, Band of Heroes Outdoors uh, hunt event here in Scottsdale, Nebraska with Deuce Ministry Outfitters. Uh, I want to tell you that top notch people, um, both on the Band of Heroes and Deuce Ministry, uh, just a great uh, camaraderie um, environment. Uh, had a lot of good times. Uh, the, see plenty of deer and had plenty of opportunities met some great people along the way that all make uh, that be friends for a lifetime now um, also I'd introduce here uh, Tim with uh, flyover archery another stand-up guy he um, same thing took all his time you know uh, doesn't get paid to do this to, to come out and be with us vets and take us hunting and help guide us and uh, if, if you guys are going to come out and do any of this at some point in time or reach out to them and stop there, are more than willing to you know, talk with you. Uh, it's just a great environment. And I believe that you, you know, just any support you can give them, with, like I said, just even come out and talk to them. If you need the support, you can help the support. You should do it. Uh, well worth it. Um, I'll be working with these guys um, for many years here to come. It's just a great group of guys all around, both sides of it. And I highly recommend.